Hello everyone, welcome back again. And in today's tutorial concerning data analysis and statistics in Julia, we learn how to create and then create a table and how to import data from a table using data frames. So if you don't have a package data frames, you can use this command package.add data frames to create it. So after creating the package, you have access to the, to the package using data frames. Right? So now I have access to it. So now let's see how to create a data frame. So we'll be calling it df. You are creating a table. And then we are going to go with data frame. Data frame, right? This one is not data frames, data frame. And then now see that it has created it for us a data frame of zero rows and then zero colon. So let's see how we can add a row to it. To add a row to it, just go with df, right? And then this is going to be our so normally so this has the synthesis this is the column and then this is the row so that's how it's going to be so now we have a column right a column of this so we're going to make it like name name and then we're going to create the number of rows it's supposed to be so we're going to create let's say three rows three right so when I go with DF, it's like going to show me that it's having one column, which is the name, and then three rows. So the rows are three, and then the column is called name. Okay, so let's see what again we can also do. So we can add more to it. So let's add another one to it, which is going to be the names of the people that we want to add. So for example, this one, we can just go with this. We can just clean this one and then make it like this. Put names there like... The names we're going to put maybe Daniel and then something like Jess, uh, Jess, my name, and then something like let's say Peter or Petro, Peter. Okay, so these are the names we're going to put there. So it has created it for us. So let's see again when we go back again with this same command. So the names have been placed inside it perfectly. So that's one of the ways you can do. So let's add another table to it another data into it we're going to be adding the age and then for the age i'm going to be adding we go with uh we put in age like 20 daniel is 20 jesse is 17 peter is let's say 19 or 19 yeah so this these data should match up with these ones so that's the perfect be a perfect table so that's already created it so if i go back again i call df so that has created perfectly for us so you see that it's, it has given to us everything that we need. So the names, the row is having three rows and then two columns, name and then age. So this is the basics about how to create a data frame using data frame. Okay, so this is one of the simplest way. Another way you can also do it is you can use this format of creating it as a one liner. So data frame two, and then you are going to make it like data frame, frame, right? And then inside this bracket, you're going to put your row. So the row we are going to be using is, let's say, going to name use the name uh, city, right? And then city is equal to let's say going to be putting. You can put the names there, maybe city, or you can just go with city. Then one is to three, right? We have three cities. And then we go again with our data, the columns that you want to uh, the next section which we, which is going to be like cities and then capital capital and then again we're going to be putting our capital this is going to be three capital so we have uh, new york new york <laughs> see how i spelled the york new york right and then we go with another one like uh, accra accra is in ghana let's go with another one like uh, what city can we use? Okay, London. Okay, so now it has, it's supposed to match up perfectly well. So when I go with this, it has perfectly created it for us because it's here you can see. So if I call, you see that it has created it for us here. So let me see how to do that. So we can just call it back again with this command df. Let me clear. They have two, so that that's printed it perfectly for us.
so that has created it for us. So this the row, the city, you have city one, city two, and then city three, and then the capital of the New York, Accra, and then London. So that's the basics about how to create data frames, how to create tables using data frames. Thank you for watching. If you have any question or comments, you can put it inside the comment section so that everybody can benefit. And then thanks again for watching and stay blessed.